One of the powerful features of VCDS by Rostec is the built-in documentation the software has for many control modules. For most control modules, VCDS will try to elaborate as much as possible what the data means when viewing measuring blocks or basic settings. VCDS does this by using label files. They are special files custom made for each control module. There are thousands of different control modules used in the Volkswagen family of vehicles in the world market and we don't have access to all of them. This is where you can help us help you. VCDS has the ability to create controller channel maps. We use these maps to help build new label files for the control modules and include them in future releases of VCDS. When you run a full auto scan and it is complete, you will notice a label tag for each control module. If there is a label file for that module, you will see a label file name listed. However, if VCDS does not have a label file for a given control module, it will say none or redirect fail. We would request that you make a controller channel map for those modules and send them to us along with the auto scan. When creating a controller channel map, make sure the battery voltage is at least 12 volts. You can let the engine idle or hook up a battery charger as per the factory repair manual for the vehicle you are working with. After the auto scan is complete and you have identified that there are modules with no label files or redirect fails, click on the save button, then OK to save the auto scan to your hard drive. Close out of the auto scan function of VCDS. Now click on the options button. Set the debug level to a value of 2 and then click the apply button. Now run auto scan again on the vehicle. This time when VCDS gets to a control module without a label file, it will go into every measuring value block and adaptation channel for that control module and record what the stored values are. Once it has recorded that data, VCDS then creates a PLA and PLB files on your computer. You can manually generate the controller channel maps one at a time. From the first screen of VCDS, click on the Applications button, then the Controller Channel Map button. The Maps Utility window opens up. In the Controller Address field, type in the Control Module's address. 17 is for the instrument cluster in this example. Set the function to what you wish to map, measuring blocks in this example. The output should be set to Pre-Label File. Unless instructed differently, leave the Login or Security Access code blank. Click the Go button to start the process. VCDS will go into the given control module, record the data, and create the controller channel map. When complete, you will get a message saying how many lines were added and a file name that was created. Click OK and VCDS goes back to the Maps Utility. If you use a standalone email client like Microsoft Outlook or Mozilla Thunderbird, then the easiest way to send us the information is to click the Applications button, then click the Email Today's Debug Log Files button. Your email client will automatically open up and the AutoScan, PLA, and PLB files will be attached to the email and addressed to our support team. Just click the Send button and that's it. If you use a web-based email service like Yahoo, Hotmail, or Gmail, then go to your email account and start a new email. Address the email to support at ross-tech.com and for the subject just put maps. You will need to attach the files that were generated to the email manually. In this example where the beta version of VCDS is used, you will find that the files are in the following folder, c colon slash ross-tech slash vcds-beta slash logs. If you are not using a beta version of VCDS, then you will find the files in the c colon slash ross tech slash vcds slash logs folder. In the body of the email, type in the year and model of the vehicle you created the channel controller maps for, then send. Beta versions of VCDS will have beta listed on the first screen. Otherwise, it will just say release and have the software version number. On the beta version, under the Applications button, there is an Upload Debug slash Logs file option that allows for sending files via a web page. Currently, it only supports one file at a time. Rostech would like to thank those who have been doing this in the past. We hope to see more users get involved in helping us improve VCDS.